and we'll see Sue with her second pet rock of the day. We came into your office and you immediately drew us to these lovely, what looks to me like rocks, but I gather they're more interesting than that. Can you just... Yeah, okay, so, so these are rocks, but they're actually artifacts because chimpanzees have used these in particular ways. So I, I've been working for uh, 27 years with a group of chimpanzees in Western Uganda, and they are the only ones that we know of in which the juveniles regularly like to carry things in ways that evoke doll play in humans. And mostly they do it with sticks, sticks that can be quite long or they can be quite short. And with these they uh, can carry them just for a few minutes sometimes, just for a few hours maybe. They can take them with them when they go, go up trees, put them on the branch next to them, pick them up when they finish feeding, carry them, take them into a nest, uh, make a nest for them and put them in the nest. Uh, so they do all sorts of things with them that uh, is uh, really difficult to explain unless they're conceiving of these like a baby. They're treating them like a baby. And what's fascinating about it is that here we've got uh, 14 rocks carried by particular individuals on particular dates. And um, you, what you see in this back row here are the ones carried by females. And the ones here are the ones carried by males. So the females are doing much more often than the males. It's about three or four times as often as the males. And the, these are carried by females right up to the time they're adult, right up to the time of their first pregnancy. But when they then have their first baby, they never do it again. So it's in a way, it's a way to practice playing with a fake baby. It seems like that. And the, the, the males do sometimes uh, carry these. Um, and that fits in the sense that males do sometimes carry real babies. But the other thing that happens is that a male might take a rock like this and put it on the ground and slap it and kick it in a way that evokes the kind of play that males are more likely to do because males have rougher play than the females, uh, whereas the females have more caring play than the males. And what does that tell you about the evolution of imagination or play? Well, I think it does two things. One is it says that uh, here we have a species whose cognitive ability is sufficiently similar to ours that they do seem to be imagining something about ordinary objects that enable them to imagine a relationship with another individual. And the second thing is that they're like us because it's sex differentiated. But the males have rougher play and the girls have more caring play and the, the girl chimpanzees are the ones that pick up these rocks or sticks and treat them more often like babies. Does that suggest, somewhat controversially, that gender is not necessarily a social construct? It does. It does, uh, it does indeed suggest that, that uh, sex-differentiated behaviour, uh, while certainly modified by experience and by suggestions by mother and father um, and others, uh, nevertheless uh, has a, a very important biological component. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you.